Hello, welcome on into a haul video where I show things that I've recently purchased. You can kind of see them off in the background here, um, but I'll show you what these are and what they were asking for them at uh, High Voltage Records, uh, Records Plus. We have the Blue Collar Comedy Tour rides again. This is the second movie in the series. Um, and I had the first and the third one. I think this is the last or the last one that I needed to get while being the second in the series. Then I got Godzilla 2014 on a Blu-ray DVD combo right there. Yeah, Blu-ray DVD combo. It has two spaces there. Um, and I know it doesn't have a special feature disc because I checked. <laughs> and then I also got a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for um, Paddington 2. Uh, I had an existing DVD, so I have seen this movie before. Um, and it was pretty good. Um, it had the guy that played Mad-Eye Moody from Harry Potter in this. And he was, like, I think a prison waiter or, like, a prison chef or something. And then I found, uh, that was, the last two were three four ninety nine for Godzilla, three ninety nine for Paddington, two. And then for a dollar again, I got Star Wars Resistance Season 1. Uh, if I'm going to be collecting the entire Star Wars franchise like I want to, uh, within reason. Uh, some of it may not be possible because Disney doesn't want to release them on disc or whatever. But it's not going to stop me. I'm, I already found WandaVision. I, I already found the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. I'm going to find the rest. It's just a matter of time. But this goes towards wanting to have the entire Star Wars franchise. Um, and then I got... Truth or Dare, which I think is a um, a thriller, supernatural thriller, so I'll be putting it with my horror films, like uh, Ready or Not got placed with. Um, but I thought this looked interesting, so um, I'll check that out sometime soon. And then I got the Blu-ray 5 film collection of the Underworld series. Um, Truth or Dare was $6.99, and this one is $5.99. Um, not bad for five Blu-rays. Five DVDs, sure, that'd be pretty average, but this is pretty good for Blu-rays. Just $6 for five of them. Not bad. And then the last thing I got was 1953's... Um, the War of the Worlds for th four bucks. Um, yeah. So I'll be... For those of these that I haven't seen before, which is a lot of them, um, I'll be checking those out and maybe doing like a, um, a Never Seen It style thing like um, Movies and Sue's channel does every now and again. Um, I have seen Godzilla a time or two, and Paddington I saw once, uh, Resistance I've seen the whole series twice, um, Underworld I saw the first movie, and I didn't even know that this version, this was, I didn't know that the Tom Cruise version was not the original War of the Worlds, so I'm pretty sure this one is the original. I'm not sure if it's in color, or if it's in black and white. It looks like color from the pictures on the back, but um, yeah, this is something I could put on anywhere in the house because it is rated G. Um, so that is something that I would like to check out. Um, I might do a compare and contrast between this one and the Tom Cruise version, just to see like which one I like more, basically. 
wouldn't necessarily be a ranking, just kind of like, here's some elements I like in this one, here's some elements I liked in this one, here's a few things in both that I didn't particularly think worked all that well, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so be on the lookout for uh, some of those, um, like maybe review videos or in the case of Underworld, a franchise ranking. Um, sometime in the near future, I plan to make a video um, of my top three favorite um, horror franchises, which could be quite a varying list because there are a lot of good franchises. But um, I'll probably also do the same thing for my favorite slashers top three favorite slasher and that won't be like slasher movies individually it'll be the slasher themselves so like it won't be friday the 13th that gets talked about it'd be jason Voorhees. and um if i end up going that direction with that and um i'll also um something that was brought to my attention earlier uh at at church is uh, wanting to rewatch the Avatar The Last Airbender series and actually make it all the way through the show. I think I've only ever seen through the first two portions, not the third. Um, but uh, at church today, someone mentioned Prince Zuko. Not by name, but described him. And I was like, hmm, tea-loving uncle. That's either Lloyd Garmadon or Zuko. I don't know of anyone else that has a tea-loving uncle in animation. So, uh, I would like to reach out to the person that made, or that gave the talk and be like, like, you didn't happen to mention Prince Zuko, did you? Um, but yeah, anywho, I'll be rewatching that series soon because it was brought to my mind in that talk. And yeah, I will check it back with you guys sometime soon with another video. I'm not sure exactly when or what kind of video, but I'll have something up in the next little bit, like next four or five days or so, um, fairly soon. So yeah, be looking forward to, to future videos and uh, I'll be trying to get better at checking the comment section. Um, if you have any suggestions of videos you want to see me make, um, or or ideas of movies you think I should try and get, um, you guys know all the movies I already have, so if there's anything that you think I should add to my collection, be it a new format or new titles altogether, uh, talk about it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to check that out and see and you guys will see me in the next video take care